Hello and welcome back to my Diecast Collector channel. Today I'm very excited to show you this the uh, new Honda NXX from Camfi. Camfi, I can't pronounce this. Is it Camfi? I can't say it. Anyway, so this is a uh, company that I have never heard of it before. Uh, but apparently they've been doing model playing and model tanks and stuff like that in die cars for a long time but I didn't know that and this is the first model that I got from Kenfai. Um so uh, first impression is really 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 good and when I saw the photo I thought this is really gonna be a good model so I decided to go for it this is the only model that I have never think twice to you know Order it. I just click it straight away. Didn't even think about it. I just pay for it straight away, and the delivery is really good as well. I pay for about one hundred and fifty uh, dollar from the uh, the company called CarLoverDieCast.com, which is weird, um, very weird name. But um, anyway, they do have a few selection of cars, and um, especially Canfi, and they do have the Rolls Royce as well, uh, which I'm gonna get it later on. Uh, I think this is Rose White is gonna be equally good as this uh, NSX. Uh, I seen some of the video online already, and they seems to be quite impressive. So I'm gonna get one myself, and I'll show you that as well uh, later on. So let's start with the uh, engine and the front of the uh, car. Um, the front of the car is really cool. Uh, you got all the chrome, which is nice, and they are actually chrome, not silver plated. The headlight is also nice. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better. So the headlight is also really nice, and these are not grill. Uh, they are not mesh, but here's a mesh actually. Can you? I'm not sure you can see it clearly on the light. So you can see there are uh, a few uh, grills there, and here also on the uh, engine room, which is also nice. So if I lift this up, let's see the engine. Uh, Wow, the engine is also not too bad. You can see um, a few details there, at least better than Norov, I must say. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this engine detail, actually. Uh, technically, this is a four-wheel drive, and it's a hybrid. Um, one of the cool models that come from the uh, Japan. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with this model. That's why I decided to go with this blue color as well, because I knew that I would like this model. So anyway, the brake discs and calipers, they're nicely done. And the only thing I have to say is the suspension is not very noticeable at the front. I'm not sure it is there. Uh, I think it is there, but it's just not very noticeable, um, which is odd. And the back is a little bit there, which is good. Um, Carbon fiber on the roof also looks nice. And this looks very good as the um, LCD and also the uh, almost wheel so yeah uh, so far so good uh, on the side profile also looks nice and the interior looks really cool and impressive which we'll get to that later on and the rear back is also nice you can see the heat line just like my Lexus LC500 which is uh, only a few models that I have with the heat line on uh, I think Lexus and this uh, Honda, this is the only two things that I have with the heat light on. And uh, I think the at the moment, um, yeah, so this is what they call Aqua, not Honda Batch actually. Uh, in America, they call this one uh, as a, a Aqua or Aqua or Aqua. Basically, this is the top end uh, car, sports car or luxury car from a Honda, just like the uh, Lexx, basically. It, same as Toyota, but they call Lexa as a premium brand, same as the uh, Aqua. And uh, for the Nissan, I think they call it Infinity. And uh, so basically, yeah, so the cheaper end models are Nissan, but the, the top end are Infinity and so on. Anyway, so you got a little uh, storage area, which is not much for the real car, but this is an electronic engine electric engine so yeah so this is a pure hybrid um with the uh, full engines in it i'm not sure it is correct but i think it is um anyway um the light details are really nice uh, i can't complain at all 
and the grills are actually nice they're all mesh and you can see through it which is really cool just like the front exhaust is also nice there are full exhaust in there you got the rear diffuser they're all looks like a carbon fiber effects in there as well uh, it's fairly heavy actually uh, I'm not sure how heavy it is I'm gonna scale it in a second but it's quite yeah it's quite weighty model actually anyway uh, let's check the uh, underneath let's see what's inside uh, well actually there's nothing underneath there uh, well I'm not gonna complain so it's some of my LCD model they don't have anything underneath either but then again normally actually see it you know on the outside I mean underneath anyway uh, let's see the inside um, the door is very strong uh, you can see it okay so let's check uh, the interior so the door uh, not bad actually I don't see any gaps or any misalignment and there's a speaker there's a door handle is in silver which is nice uh, you can see air vent and you can see the sat nav with the Google map going on uh, of course this is carpeted with a seat belt on it as well um, something like this it should have some kind of moving part in this car I don't think the glove box is openable like Lexus no it's not but the uh, the seat oh this is nice you can actually fold it and also I wonder oh right this is nice oh I'm happy with that I've always liked the uh, little moving part in the uh, motor cars and this is really cool you can fold your seat and move it back um, just like my Lexx which is cool I think this one has less moving part than my Lexx unfortunately but I'm not gonna complain to be honest this is uh, good enough for me I'm um, so far it's really impressive um, yeah so let's check the uh, driver side the door are a bit strong um, too close um, I don't see anything details in here and I thought there would be some kind of cameras and stuff like that but unfortunately it's nothing here um, let's check the interior on the uh, driver side okay so let's see whether this one is also foldable yeah it does so I think this both side is actually movable yeah you can move the seat and you can fold it down which is nice and these are all mesh by the way you can see all the grills in this car is all mesh which is lovely uh, interior wow this is also nice I'm really pleased with that you can see the um, different effects on the uh, steering wheel you can carbon fiber on the steering wheel and then you got little buttons and aqua logo on it and that's yeah you got all the buttons in the middle they're all clearly labeled the dials the paddles all the buttons on the doors I'm really pleased with this this is a really cool model I'm glad that I got this one actually um, I might even get the uh, the red one and they have three color um, they have uh, blue red and white as well so let's measure this up let's see how heavy this is oh there's a little brochure that come with it and let's see what it says in here okay this is all written in Chinese um, okay it says a suspension here but that is the only part that I can't actually uh, feel uh, apart from the rear actually uh, okay all the opening feature the seat can fold and move forward and backward yeah that's about it there isn't anything much in here all right let's weigh this up um, let's see how heavy this car is I'm feeling like about one kilo at least but I feel like it's heavier than one kilo actually let's see okay so it's all right it's it's about one nearly 1.5 you know 1.05 but feel like a 1.1 kilo actually it's really heavy anyway um yeah i think this is a really cool model i'm really thinking of giving 10 out of 10 for this model uh, let me know what you think in the comment below and um, yeah I have uh, some more cars actually coming on the way I thought that I'm gonna stop buying car for a while and focus on the model 
but I decided to get some more car. I got the Lamborghini Centenario coming soon, and also the uh, Porsche 918, and also the uh, couple others, uh, Audi R8 as well. I haven't got the uh, Audi R8. I have the Q8, A8, but not R8. And uh, also another one coming. Uh, yeah, there's the BMW X7, I think, and so on and so forth. So I was thinking of getting a very long uh, Bentley Muslim uh, Grand Limo as well. But anyway, we see. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get another uh, display cabinet. My display cabinet is full, so I'm going to get a second one now. So it's going to be very busy half term and I will show you some more videos uh, when I have a chance. Thanks for watching and stay safe and see you in the next video.